Hi, I am Roxana from VP Estate and in this video I will show how to work with the VP Rentals display categories as tabs widget for Elementor. We showcase this widget in our main demo. You can see it here. You will have tabs for the categories that you want to display and under each tab you will see the elements added for that category. Next I will show how to use this widget in a page created with Elementor. I have here a page where I already created the section where this widget will show. The first step is to edit the page with Elementor. I will scroll down to the section that I created for this widget. This is the one. I will look for the widget and with drag and drop I will add this widget in the page. Now I will start making settings for the tops. You will have by default categories but you can change it. Here you will be able to change the category that will show as tab. I will leave categories, but I will change the label. I will also change the icon. You will have the option to select an icon from Font Awesome or upload an SVG icon. I will select an icon from Font Awesome. I will select a random icon and I am done with the first tab. I will add a second one. This time I will select it to show rent categories. I will also change the label and this time I will upload an SVG icon from Media. I will select this one. I am done with the second tab as well. I will add the third one and set it to display cities. I will change the label and change the icon. I will add the fourth category which will be neighborhood. I will change the label and change the icon. And for the last tab I will select amenities and features. I will change the label and select a different icon. Next you'll have the option to select items per row. Now they are set to 4 but you can change it to 3 or 6 if you have too many elements. I will leave it to 4. Next you'll have the option to hide elements that do not have any listings. This means that in this list you will not have categories that do not have properties assigned. I will leave it to yes, but if set to no, then all categories will show regardless if they have properties assigned or not. I am done with the settings in the content section. Next I will go to style. Here you will have the option to make design changes for tabs. You can set alignment, you can set content padding. I will add here values. You will also have options to set the values for margins. Next you will have options for border radius. Next you will have options for tabs colors. I will set them. Next you can set typography for the tabs text. You can change font family, font size, font weight and make other settings. You can also add margin values for the icons. Next you can set colors for the icons. This is the color for the active tab and this is the color for the rest of the icons. You also can set the icon size and you can set the icon to show above label. I will leave it as it was. Next you will have tab content settings. Here you will do settings for the elements under the tab. You will be able to add content padding, content margins, the list margin values, border radius and you will also be able to set colors. I will set this as well. You will be able to set the elements typography as well. You can change the font, font family, font weight and make other settings. And for the second row typography you will be able to make settings for the properties number here. You can set font family, font size and make other settings. The last option is for box shadow. You can add settings to add a shadow to this section. Going further in advanced you will be able to make settings for the widget position in the page. I will leave it as it is and save changes. Now I will go on front end and show the results. After refresh you will see the section that I just created and under each tab you will see the elements added for that category. This wraps our video. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.